So here I've created already an alert dialog box through the use of an alert box builder. I've created this builder and set a message. Do you want to delete? And then I've created a positive button and I'm going to create a negative button. And as, I, as you see, I set up this dialog box cancelable as false. So there will be no cancelable button. So um, creating now the positive button. It's a new dialog interface on click listener. So now you're more, f uh, more familiar, I'm sure, with the, the concept of listener. In this, in, in this uh, on click listener, so when I click on the yes button, I'm just moving the code that is removing the item from the list. I'm going to set a negative button and add it to the builder. So, no. Now, same thing, a new dialog interface on click listener. I just uh, made a small mistake. And let's see. Okay, I mistyped something. Okay, now it's uh, fixed. I'm adding the, an, the unimplemented method, which is also, of course, an on-click method. And the only thing I'm going to do here, if the user click on no, the only thing I have to do is actually to remove this dialog button, dialog.cancel. Okay, perfect. Now we uh, gave uh, instructions to the builder and we have two choices. First, we can ask the builder to build an alert box object that we'll be able to reuse in the future. Or we can ask the builder to build uh, some, the dialog box and show it. So, in the case you want to create an object that you're going to reuse in the future, you're going to do, uh, so create an alert box, alert dialog, sorry, ob object, we'll name it alert, and it's going to be equal to builder create. And uh, if I want to use this object, I can do alert.show. But in this example, it doesn't make any sense to create an object, uh, so we can use the second method, method, and we're going to ask the builder to create the object and to show it. So builder dot create. I guess builder dot create dot show would make sense, but there's a quick shortcut here. We can just say builder dot show. So build it a show. Now, uh, let me save it and uh, let's run that. So I have my list. I click on first names and I will long click now on Alisa. And I have my, do you want to delete the, this name? I long click on Hannah. If I click on no, the box disappear and if I click on yes, as you can see, Anna has just disappeared. So I didn't show you everything you can do with dialog box because uh, you can you, you may want to build more complex dialog box with more choices. And uh, now I'm going to do direct you to the Android developers page. So developer.android.com, and you have the reference manual. And you see that here I'm in Android app and in the alert dialog object. So you see the different parameters, uh, the different instructions you can give to the builder. So that's really technical. And some developer like uh, to see reference uh, documentation. Uh, other developers uh, prefer to see uh, samples and that's in the developer guide. It's uh, maybe a little bit more technical, 
a little bit more plain text explanations and uh, so you have samples and uh, screenshots. Uh, a dialog box that looks like the one we have created and more complex dialog box. Uh, you also have here a progression dialog with uh, some explanation and the code itself, a progress bar and, uh, and uh, even more complex called a custom dialog box. With uh, what we have seen so far you should be able uh, to uh, read this documentation and understand it and also use it of course. So I would uh, suggest an exercise for you. Uh, take a piece of paper and draw maybe the first very simple dialog box, a more complex dialog box, go in the documentation, check what you need, check how to do it and then you can go in uh, Eclipse and uh, write the code uh, to create this application on your phone. So it's very important to know how to use this documentation. And uh, here you go. You can now build your very first application from A to Z.